The latest step in the fight to control the stricken reactors. Military helicopters hovering overhead to drop tons of seawater directly where it's needed. The twin intention to try to cool the reactors and to replenish water in a pool that holds spent nuclear fuel rods. The threat from the radioactivity has meant the helicopters have had to be fitted with a protective lead plate and to stay high enough to safeguard the aircrew. Officials now say they hope to continue the water dumping through the day. Self-Defense Force conducted the spraying of water from the air and the police are also going to start uh, the water spraying by the water cannon trucks. So we are trying to combine these two approaches to maximize the effect of water spraying. Using the water cannon in tandem with helicopters should increase the chances of cooling the reactors. But the police who operate the cannon will be at greater risk from the still fluctuating radioactivity in the immediate area. Inside the plant, 180 workers are acting to try to control the situation, working in shifts to minimize their exposure to radiation. The legal limit has been raised to allow them more time inside but there's little protection for them as they face multiple hazards. Officials say they are also hoping to achieve a partial resumption of the power supply to the Fukushima Daiichi plant at some point on Thursday, which could allow them to reactivate the normal cooling systems. If they can do that, it should help them in their task. And if the reactors aren't too badly damaged, and if the tank housing the nuclear fuel rods can be refilled with water, control could be re-established. Dominic Kane, BBC News.